Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. I'm Lena Satterin alongside Adam Cook. This week we have a packed show including a recap of Open Mic Night, a peak in a winter sports with game day, and much more. Open Mic Night is a way for students to express themselves in many different forms. Addison Smith and Sarah Miguel covered this event to see what all the hype is about. I would piously wall your return. So don't. <laughs> Instead... Last Friday, Olathe Northwest Hype hosted their winter open mic night. Many students took advantage of this opportunity to share personal stories and to show off their talents. A place where people can come and voice their opinions freely. Uh, they can do poems, they can sing, they can rap, they can come up here and act just about anything you want to do. Open mic nights are open to all students and it is a judgment free zone. It's given me a space and a way to meet new people and hear their experiences as well as share my experiences and what I've gone through um, and it like helps us like creatively and positively let out our emotions and what we see wrong with either our lives or society and kind of like a way to vent but like healthy. Come out to the next one. For Sarah Miguel, this has been Addison Smith. Now back to the desk. Last Tuesday, the LW Choir held their annual winter performance. The performance included all the choirs performing Christmas songs, including Jingle Bells, Jolly St. Nicholas, and many more beloved and new Christmas songs. The performance also recognized Ms. Williamson for, the, for winning the Outstanding Music Educator Award and recognized the students who made District Honor Choir. Good job to all the students who performed. Winter sports are starting. Let's take it over to game day to check out what's been going on. Welcome to sports. I'm Rosie Klausner alongside Jack Clayton. Today we have updates on both boys and girls basketball, a feature story on Coach Sherman, and information about the Ultimate Frisbee Club. Tuesday night, boys basketball played against Eudora High School. The Ravens came out with their five seniors in the starting lineup as they looked to advance to the championship round. The Ravens lost the tip and started the first quarter a little bit slow until Luke Waters gave the Ravens a boost with the three. Later in the second quarter, Jackson Nicodemus rolls off a screen and knocks down a three of his own on his way to 19 points on the night. Still in the second quarter, Nicodemus feeds the ball down to Waters, who picks up an and one. Now in the third quarter, Jackson Nicodemus passes into the post, gets the ball back, breaks to the hoop for a fantastic up and under. The Ravens went on to win 54-30. to They advanced to the championship round to play Bonner on Thursday night. Monday night, girls basketball played against Truman High School. Coach Brandstrom fires up the girls for the first game of the season. First half, Lady Ravens down by two. Liz Thomas sinks the three-pointer, which gives the Ravens a two-point lead. Later on, Megan Crisco adds another three-pointer to, uh, to give the Lady Ravens another two-point lead. Lots of fouls were called in the game. A large amount of points from both sides came from free throws. In the second half, ONW fighting to stay close until the Lady Ravens fell short to Truman by a score of 61-50. to This football season was the last for one coach here to Latham Northwest. Let's throw it over to C.J. Vredenberg for more. Coach Sherman has gone through many jerseys and coached hundreds of games, but he really sees coaching as more than just games and championships. I'd say my greatest accomplishment is the um, relationships I've had with uh, players and coaches and uh, people that I've been around. Uh, championships come and go, but those relationships last forever. Coach Sherman has changed many lives and focused on the impact on a player before, during, and after a season and told us his greatest achievement. Probably the Nathan Stiles Award I got for when I came back from cancer. Coach Sherman has had many accomplishments and always looked to better those around him while still having a team succeed. This has been C.J. Breenberg. Now back to sports. Now I'll hand it over to August Bertold and Andrew Tracy for more information about ONW's Ultimate Frisbee Club. If you show up 2-4 to four on Sundays, you're in. The ONW Ultimate Frisbee Club has been meeting on the football field on Sundays from 2-4 to four for non-competitive games where the players can relax and have fun. Uh, Ultimate Frisbee is a game where you take a Frisbee and you just try to throw it to the other end without walking with it. Um, usually you try to, try to throw a short game to each other, uh, try to get it to the other end. No one has much experience, so if you're interested, show up on Sunday to join the fun. Um, we meet from uh, Sundays 2 to 4, and we usually just get around, uh, with, run around with a group of about a dozen guys or more, and we just toss it around for a few hours and get some good exercise and have some fun. Don't be afraid to show up. Everyone is welcome. 
Uh, we've had about 10 to 15 as of the first couple weeks, but we're looking to get some more people in the next few weeks. The Ultimate Frisbee Club is looking for more members, so come on down to the football field this Sunday. Uh, all you have to do is show up, and we'll get you started from there. Make sure you show up 2 to 4 on Sundays, O&W Turf Field. This has been Angie Tracy and August Bertolt. I'm Chris Pooler, and I'm back to the desk. That's it for sports this week. Let's send it back to the news. This week was the annual drum drive hosted by Raven Service Club. Their drum drive's goal was collecting hand sanitizers, wipes, and tissues for the teachers. With this being flu season, everyone, keeping everyone healthy is a top priority. Not many students can say they are a published author. Student Lilena Estebean has written a futuristic fi fiction novel called On the Bridge. Let's take it to Mary Porter to learn more about this amazing accomplishment. I've always had a love for words and writing. Sophomore Lelina Estabin, a young author, recently made an exciting achievement in her writing career. My biggest accomplishment in writing would have to be my latest book, On the Bridge. She incorporated many political and economic problems facing our world today and formed it into a futuristic dystopian novel. The plot follows Colt Green, a 16-year-old boy living in a futuristic, isolated society. And in this society, his father is the chief of police, which is the highest-ranking government official. And despite his higher upbringing, his two best friends are Lek, a boy of an alien race that's discriminated against in the Haven, and Nedya, a girl of a lower economic status. And so throughout the course of the book, Colt has to decide between who his parents have bred him to be and the person that he is and the experiences he's gained with his friends. The announcement of her publishing came as no surprise, as Lilina is an avid writer. I write anywhere from my house, my room, um, the bus before school, after school, um, anywhere that I can bring a notebook and a pencil with me or even a notes app on my phone is a great place for me to write at. Lilina has gotten several opportunities with her book, from selling it on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble to visiting her past middle school and talking a little bit about it with them. I hope that my book can be read and really touch the lives of the people that it reads and strike some chord inside, the, inside them to incite the change that I hope that our society can fulfill. From ONW Now, this has been Mary Porter. Hey seniors, want to make your graduation night awesome? Sign up to help stack groceries on December 23rd at Hy-Vee. Your tips will go to fund ONW's all-night graduation party. We really need your help to make this day a success. Find the Project Grad sign-up link under the Parent Info tab on the ONW website. The sign-up deadline is by the end of the day tomorrow. Don't forget to add us on Snapchat at ONW Now and on Twitter at ONW underscore Raven Daily. That's all I have for this week, Ravens. Keep warm and have a great rest of your week.